Better, yes. Better, more diverse, no. Uh, I don't. I think that's the actually exactly what I'm trying to work against is that we want a kind of a unified news source. I mean, eventually the goal is just to have the news mm -hmm. and none of this CNN, ABC, MSN, whatever. Mm -hmm. None of that. Just the news, and you turn it on, and you get one clear, honest answer. Because, you know, like a lot of times people, they'll get in arguments with each other and they'll say, well, I was watching such and such channel and the other guy will been watching other channel and the, the facts don't line up. Mm -hmm. And people are in disagreement like this whole Iraq war thing. I mean, it's going really well, but apparently somebody on the other channels thinks they want to report that it's going negatively and yada, yada, yada. You understand, we unify those. Everybody knows the same thing. Well, I mean, we do write the news. There are writers. We don't write exactly what happens. I mean, somebody obviously writes the newspaper every morning. Now, how often does something get uh, exaggerated or possibly um, some kind of assumption is made about the details of a case, such as this Natalie Holloway thing that happened down there? I think it was one of the Islanders. But at the same time, you know, it's my news. I own the thing, and so occasionally, maybe I want... Maybe I want to write a story someday. I wake up, I have a bad day. I think everybody should. If they're watching my channel, they probably want to know what I'm doing. So I just write a story. I send it down to the news desk. Whoever's down there, Cooper or one of those guys, I say, hey, you just, you tell them this. Hey. That's all. It's all up for debate if you think about it. You got reality television. How real is that? How often do you get a mansion full of pretty hot 21-year-olds trying to marry a 35-year-old construction worker. That's obviously been created, and so we create the news, too. I mean, I say what's happening over there, but also maybe I make up a city. Maybe I make up a city, it got bombed, soldiers came in, they gave everybody flowers, everybody's happy, it was a good day. She's a great girl. Have you, have you met her? No. She's not having... a wonderful person, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, she's a number one record sales, and she decides to get out of a cab however she wants to. I mean, she's a sexy young girl. She can do it. She just got divorced. Sure, be free. I mean, sometimes I don't wear underwear. Of course, I don't wear skirts. I cover Britney. Britney is the news. I mean, we, you know, all that stuff, oops, I did it again, and all that stuff. She's, she's an artist, and so when people are listening to stuff, they want to hear what's going on with their art, and um, I also own, like, a little... 20% of BGM music, and so it's important to get her out there. You may, you know, maybe you see her hoo-ha, you go, I wonder what her sounds, songs sound like. You go out, you buy the CD, everybody's happy. Mm -hmm. We cover Britney as long as the story is, is, it's got feet on it. As long as it's kicking, then it's a good story, but at the same time, you know, we don't want to get old with it. We don't want to have any kind of, um, we don't want people to get bored of it. We mix it up, we mix it up, you know, we get a little rack war. Maybe some global warming debate in here. Maybe a little something about the elections. But then back, boom, Paris. That's what keeps them coming back. Because nobody wants to hear about all that sad stuff. I mean, what's Paris doing? What's Lindsay doing? What's what's Nicole doing? You know what I mean? And Nicole Richie. And you just, you get all these things and people are, they're captivated. And then they still want to be informed. And then we throw on commercial. I mean, if you want that boring, stale, uh, not even, you know, jazzed up, it's nothing sexy about it, go watch PBS, go watch that public stuff. I wonder if we could get the Lindsay Lohan DUI arrest out of the teleprompter and put my script in it. Is that possible?
media. We've owners. got issues of peace and war. We've got issues of how do we uh, insure our kids and insure our families. How do we find jobs? How do we educate our kids? Those are all important. That one of those may be your number one issue. All I'm saying is, if that's your number one issue, you better make this media consolidation issue your second most important issue because all those big issues get filtered and funneled through big media. Anna Nicole Smith still dead, Wolf.